Hi, I'm Stephen Hand from Archery Supplies. Today, these new release heads have just come in from Trueball. They're called the Glory, from obviously from Trueball. One's the standard Glory and one's the Glory CG. The CG stands for Comfort Grip and, grip and we'll go through that in a second. I'm really excited about these new release aids. Um, they've only literally just come in, so I'm at home. It's a fantastic day. And even though all my staff are at work, I thought I'd spend some time and do a video, put this new stock up on the web and basically show my staff I'm just not at home walking on the beach because it's such a great day. But okay. The Glory Release Aid, this is called a hair trigger. Now, it's stainless steel here and it's got rollers inside. You can see the little balls um, here. You've got a little, just there, there's a Allen key to adjust the travel. Now, let's just, basically, if you, stop. It is so fine, it's going off without it. Right, that's going to make life difficult. <laughs> this is going to make this video really difficult. So if this is, if this video is, let's try this again. Oh, it's not going to work, is it? Anyway, it's a it's an ultra it's an ultra hair trigger. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and adjust the grub screw before we shoot it. It's a bit unfortunate. Um, it features um, here you can adjust the length of the grip through this little screw here and here. And basically the shaft which runs inside has got a whole bunch of different little allen keys so you can adjust the length. Now when I fit a grip basically I want my finger to be over the trigger. Um, it features a buckle grip um, which is you know leather, it's got a bit of padding in there, it's like wetsuit material. Um, basically overall it's a nice bit of gear if the trigger actually closed. Oh look, it closes like that. It shows you how fine the trigger actually is. It's basically, so like that it won't set, but like that it physically will. So it's basically the weight required to set this thing off is the weight of the trigger. That's hair. <laughs> That's so crazy. So I wanted to try it out. So that's why I'm really excited about it. I'm probably going to punch myself in the face, which will be make a great video, but just bear that in mind. So the current comfort grip version is basically the same release aid. It'll be, it'll be a hair trigger as well. Actually, let's just check that out. How crazy is that? Most, <laughs> on the $400 thumb release aids that you pay, like they're not that hair like they are fine but not like that <laughs> that's just amazingly fine now the packet comes with two free d loops now let's just oh this one's not going off it's still like do you see how much pressure i'm applying to that like it's basically not even a thing but this feels obviously it's not going off by itself so the other one's a little bit now i'm going to try and zoom in you can see there's a little bit of gap between there and there so that's how much adjustment you've got on the travel you can see between the stainless steel and the roller bearing on the side that little ball that's how much adjustment you've got now on the other <laughs> on the one that keeps triggering i'm going to hold my thumb up i bet see the gap there is more so this little allen key inside just there just needs to go in a fraction but it's pretty cool we're going to, i'm going to try the comfort grip version um so now what i've got i'm not doing a sales pitch here um i picked up my old bow now this is an old evolution and one of my viewers said oh can you do some videos on some of your old bows Stephen, that you've got now this is an old PSC evolution it's the first of the evolution series which went to the compression limbs. Now this bow would have to be close to 10, maybe even more years old. Um, the cams are still pretty cool, like a cool design. This is a cool bow. Um, the machining's good. The limb pocket's all machined. 
Like in the day, this bow used to sell for about $1,100, $1,200, which is about equivalent of what the current bows sell for. Speed-wise, I think it shot about 350 feet per second, and I haven't actually shot it for about 10 years. So it's got the original strings on, the original PSE rest, true ball sight. So we're just gonna strap this release aid on. Now, in the instructions to these to these release aids, I'm still shocked that thing fired just on the weight of the trigger. Um, it says draw back with your finger behind the trigger, like so. If you draw back like that, and your finger goes anywhere near this button, you go and punch yourself in the mouth. So, I have a number of customers go, look, the trigger sets itself off by itself. And with the other one, maybe. <laughs> But you know, they bring this release aid in the shop and they go, look, well, this thing fires all the time, I hit myself in the mouth. So then I go on my shooting range and I shoot the thing for about 30 shots and it doesn't do it. And they're like, oh, but it happens for me, I want a new one. It's because they draw back with their finger like that and as they draw them back and their muscles are tensing, they just touch it and they don't even realise they're touching it. So if you draw back with your finger off the trigger, and when I say off the trigger, I mean behind the trigger, you're not going to hurt yourself. Now, the comfort grip, do I think this is a little rubber thing? The comfort grip sells, the comfort grip version sells for 125 Australian dollars. It's got the little rubber in the middle and the little rubber thumb grip. Is it worth $15? The normal glory is $110. Um, and yeah, do I think it's worth $15? I don't know, $15 is like one takeaway meal, you're going to keep this release aid forever. Um, like you do use it when you're actually loading it, so I don't know. Now what I find interesting on this, this is how I used to do D-loops. And see I've strengthened, I've, I've reinforced the serve in here, because obviously when they made this string, it wasn't tight enough on the knock, and I used to use two brass knocking points. A little, um, these are the first of the Acu Acu peeps, which was bigger on one side and smaller than the other. The company was then purchased by Hotshot. They still make the peep, but it's not now glossy red. Um, it's now called the Hotshot Acu peep. Um, but overall, like this stuff, the bow's 10 years old, maybe 15 years old, and it's still, it's still a like up against the new decrees and all that. This is still a happening little bow. So let's see how this bow is now. I generally prefer to be up closer to the target when I'm trying new release aids. And I am shooting a concrete brick wall. So if this arrow comes back and hits me, uh, it's because I'm too far, but let's go and see how it goes. And unfortunately, I'm shooting, I'm just, I'm shooting, this bow was set up for pins. Um, because my arrow was leaving the rest. Let's see if I... Let's try again. I'll just go and see if I can find a different arrow because I set this up for pin knocks. So the actual arrow is pinching too much as I draw it back. So just bear with me so I can have a shot with this release aid. Okay, <laughs> this is what happens when you do a video at home. Um, and you're in an archery shop and all your archery gear's at the shop. Um, I've grabbed a different arrow and I've put a different pin knock on. This is my son's arrow. It's really, really short for me. Um, and I've put a McKinney pin knock on because I prefer the McKinney pin knock um, than the one my son uses. So, and that's the thing with archery. Everything's unique um, and you've got to like the system you use. Like my son likes his knocks because they were short on the groove. I like them being covering the end of the string. Just, I was a bit worried I was going to have a dry fire, so... So let's see how this shoots. Now this isn't siding in this bow. So let's see how it goes. That release is awesome. Like really, really like you just 
be lined up, and this bow's awesome too. Well, I'll go and grab the arrow again. Now the thing about release aids, so this release aid's $120, the other one's $110. A base release aid's gonna be, you know, $45 for your True Bull Patriot, your True, sorry, True Fire Patriot, your True Bull Bandit, it's probably around $60. Now, would I pay $60 for this release aid? Absolutely. Because what it is, it's a quality product. Um, nothing wrong with the Stinger at all. But what you've got here, you've got a competition level trigger. So you've got a hair trigger, and people go, oh, it's, you know, it's a hair trigger. But what that means is when you get ready for that shot, it's gone, you're not. The cheaper triggers are fine. You know, they honestly, I've got a guy who was state champion shooting the $60 True Ball Stinger. Um, and at the time, he shot much better than I do. Did. Um, <laughs> did. <laughs> um, but my point is, like, you know, I'm shooting my $400 trigger or whatever, $300 trigger, and he's shooting a $60 trigger, and it shoots fine. But I would definitely spend the extra $60 for this better trigger because it's just. It's like this bow, the bow is 15 years old, and honestly, if this bow was still released today, let's say this bow they sold for $800, it would kill anything else on the market. The cams are good, roller bearings in the cams, good machining, good pockets. It's a good bow, and it's 15, 15 odd years old. really like the trigger now I don't know if you can see but see here it's all over my finger I'm covered it but when I actually pull back the release my finger was about there I want my finger a bit more over it so for me it might be I increase the tension on the wrist a little bit to stop it pulling so much but overall as a hunting release aid it's quiet it made no noise high quality product and if you get it and it's too fine just adjust the trigger a little bit which is just that little allen key and it's probably a quarter or an eighth of a turn so true ball glory release aid really really like it one of my favorite release aids it probably the stinger will probably outsell it the bandit will outsell it the 60 dollar ones because people don't want to spend the extra 60 dollars who are getting to the sport but honestly, give it some thought because if you're going to be in the sport, sport for 10 years, your trigger's going to last easy for 10 years or longer. Um, I mean, I've still got my original release aid I was shooting when I was 14 and I'm now 47. So, you know, like, yeah, good product. Trubal, great company. Um, family company. They produce quality products and they produce it, and I probably said before, they produce stuff for target archers. This is definitely a target archer release, but it's built for hunting. So um, it's target archery quality and perfect for hunting. Stainless steel here, stainless steel inside. So it's not going to rust. It's not going to fall apart on you. It's um, a good system. So I'm Stephen Hand from Archery Supplies. Check it out. Go into your local archery shop and check out the Truval Glory release aid. They should be kind of in shops about now or in the next couple of weeks. Thank you. Bye.